We've had a lot of news since my last video. The first Fisker Ocean Sport is being delivered as we speak. The OTA Update 1.11 release notes have been published by Fisker. They include a trip meter, screen cleaning mode, navigation enhancements, hands-free calling improvements, California mode improvements, OTA enhancements, including being able to see what version you actually have, ADAS improvements, new languages, and other bug fixes. Canadian deliveries have started, and let's get a round of applause for that. Inventory is up and ultras are now available in the United States. Enclosed truck deliveries seem to have resumed for more than one customer and people have been able to take advantage of the interest rate promotion. And as far as personal news, I just got a phone call. I just got off the phone with my Fisker representative, which means this video was thrown together, so apologies. I didn't have time to build it to scale or to paint it. And my sport is being built, even though I didn't do anything except make the $1,000 deposit. I haven't uploaded my driver's license. I didn't select which payment method I was gonna do, but here we are, the ocean is being built. It's on the way across the ocean, and I guess five to eight weeks based on what's been normal so far, and they're gonna call me and ask me to buy a Fisker Ocean Sport. I'd like to ask you immediately in this video, should I go forward with the process let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Here's my concerns. Number one, how much does the Fisker Connected Services cost? I don't know, they don't know, they can't tell me. I told them if they can tell me how much it costs to pay for navigation on my actual screen of my Fisker Ocean, then I'll take delivery because that means they've done a lot of things to figure out Fisker Connected Services and many other roadblocks. Also, I ordered a feature complete Ocean Sport. I'm definitely not getting one, especially if they're gonna deliver it sometime in the next couple months. Yes, I know your Fisker Ocean 1 was not a feature complete Ocean, but you got a limited edition vehicle with unlimited services and upgrades, and I had an opportunity to get one of those, but one of the reasons I chose not to was because it wasn't finished. Also, registration is a huge concern for me. There's power of attorney forms and documents of that nature, which, I refuse to sign. I will not sign over a power of attorney for someone else to register my vehicle. You have to pay the taxes for the vehicle at the time that you register the vehicle because I have a direct sales ban state that I live in. And I would like to pay those funds myself out of my own pocket with the payment method I choose at the time I issue the plate for my own vehicle. I don't wanna wait for something to happen in the mail. I don't want any miscommunications to happen. I don't wanna know where the funds have went. None of those things. So I will be registering the vehicle myself and if Fisker cannot provide me with that service, I refuse the vehicle. Now what happens if I refuse? Well, that's it, it's over. 30 days, it sounds like I've got to collect the vehicle and after that, I just lose it. I lose the $1,000, I lose the $250 reservation that I converted to a deposit and I lose my place in line. I would have to start the entire process over again. Also, I told Fisker I would pay for the delivery fee if I could just pick it up. I am not trying to avoid the delivery fee. I will not accept a delivery. People are getting their cars at 7 a.m. on a Sunday and they only have an hour notice. That's unacceptable too because now I have to sign documents when I'm asleep and groggy and I don't have time to read them over. I want a feature complete ocean or at least I wanna know how much I'm gonna pay for the features that I will be getting. And I don't wanna give somebody 6% tax and then just have to wait forever and see if that process is gonna work because I'm definitely gonna be a guinea pig here in my state. And if the temporary plate expires, then what? I need to be able to drive this car from the minute I get it going forward because I will have to forfeit one of my perfectly running other electric vehicles in order to get this car. So I believe what I said to the Fisker representative was, I wanna be able to register the car the same day I pick it up. The vehicle's not complete. They published that before I put my $1,000 down, so I understand that. But if I'm not getting this ocean, then I'm also not getting the tax credit, which means I'm not getting one. Oh, and the EPA has not approved anything for the homologation of the Ocean Sport. So I am being sent an Ocean Sport that is not even legally available for sale. So that's just my initial impressions right off the top. As soon as I got off the phone with Fisker, there it is, Santa Monica, California. So what do I do? Imagine you own two perfectly good two-year-old electric vehicles that have had absolutely zero problems from the factory and all of their functions work.
or a $38,000 Ocean Sport that's not even approved to be sold by the EPA. Looks like I'm getting a dilemma for Christmas and some anxiety to boot. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. And when it's done, I've got a brand new head to head with the Tesla Model Y. It's gonna be right here. Subscribe for more. See ya on the next one. Hey, smash the like button. Thank you.